more. Explain Renegade. That is the million dollar question. One word, confidence. He is fearless and he's confident. And I think that those two things with his skill set go a very long way. He's made controversial team changes. He's helped uh, spark rivalries. We talk to Renegade, he is one of the most confident people you'll ever meet. He has had this air of really not giving a shit about what happens around him. Renegade truly believes he is the best player in the world. Kills per minute, number one on land in the There's just something about league. Renegade's entire kind of persona. He'll be sitting on the main stage, he's laser focused, probably some hair in his eyes. Sometimes he might come across as a little bit toxic, but I think you need that edge to be one of the best. Honestly, all in all, I genuinely feel like I'm the best solo player in the world. Renegade, you cannot give him the time. Make a decision there, and that is going to cost them. It's going to be the triple. Renegade's play style is, uh, I think it definitely is defined by aggression. Oh. He just plays his situation so confidently. He's an absolute menace on your map. The confidence works for him, and he gets into battles that he has no business winning. He'll win those battles and go on to do even more damage. The trajectory that he's on right now he can line himself up to be in that conversation of greatest of all time. that we're just here on the main stage. All right, well, let's jump right into this here as we get ready, Street Slayer. I grew up in San Bernardino, California, which, you know, if anyone knows where that is, it's not necessarily the nicest place. I grew up on the poor side of town. It was just me, my mom, my older brother. And, uh, you know, we went through tough times, hard times, but we love each other and uh, I always support them and they always support me. When I realized I was good at Halo, it was like freshman year of high school. I was like 14, 15, seeing that, you know, some of these tournaments, like the first time I saw it was like $2.5 million tournament. I'm like, dude, these guys are playing for that much money. Like, you know, there's no way, like I couldn't do that. Like, I believe I'm better than them. My mentality about Halo is I want to be the best to ever do it. And that is my goal, that is my plan, and I'm um, try every single event to prove myself right. There's a lot of things I don't know about Renegade, but one thing I do is that his mentality is on point. He wants to win. He's a divisive character, but I think as the, uh, the years have gone by, he's become more himself, more comfortable, and I think uh, certainly found himself as a, as, a, as a person as well as a player. As a person, he's much different than he is as Renegade. I mean, John, he's honestly a really funny, cool guy. He really is a funny guy who has a great personality. Outside the game, I would definitely say I'm more of like a quiet reserved. I don't really talk to people who don't really talk to me. I kind of keep to myself. I just try to keep my circle small. Halo 5 is really where we saw John start to shine, especially when he joined Splice. By the time Renegade gets that first win on that Splice roster, you could kind of tell that things were building that direction. They had had a lot of success in online cups and LCQs. By the time they got to dominating on LAN, you realized this team was here to stay. So by the end of Halo 5, uh, Splice are world champions, and you're starting to see the roster, of course, that would develop at that time. It's Eco, Stellar, Renegade, and Shotzi. And of course, three quarters of that roster would make their way into the Cloud9 roster of Halo Infinite. Eco, Stellar, Penguin, Renegade. When you hear that roster, you think, damn, <laughs> that's dangerous. The dominance that came through from that Cloud9 roster was unmatched. It was so difficult to touch them. 
So at this point, Cloud9 and the former Splice roster, they're used to winning. They win the first two lands of Halo Infinite. They're feeling on top. And then you felt a little bit of tug at the back of the shirt, and that came in the form of Optic Gaming, and certainly was a wake-up call for, for not just Renegade, but the entire Cloud9 roster. And Renegade decided to take a bit of a risk, leave his team, big controversy, and join a new one. The fact that he left his boys, his world championship teammates to join, like, the enemies per se, it was surprising. Felt like this was more of his play style and his ability to do what he wanted to do, even though he's done amazing things on Cloud9, but it was just it was just crazy when he really decided to make that change. We've been at least a core trio, me, Eco Star, have been a core trio since 2017, late 2017, five years, so that was very a hard thing to do. But how I always saw it is I want to be the best to ever do it, and I need to surround myself with players who think like me. There's a lot of talk in the Halo community about that roster change. A lot of people were unhappy with the decision, more like fans, because like obviously Lethal is a fan favorite, and Renegade has always been like the villain of Halo. I think some people thought they were crazy to drop Lethal. Some people thought the change made sense. People just have to understand, like, he just wants to win, and he felt like joining this roster was a better ability for him to win. Criticism towards me is something that just, at least I believe, just comes with it. At the end of the day, it's just like, they don't really know who I actually am. I would say the Halo community had mixed opinions for sure. Some people loved it, some people hated it. Uh, it finally came together, and after winning an event, I think Renegade's decision could be justified. I think the Halo community sees Renegade as one of the best damn players in the world. How else could you see him? He is so skilled. You don't see a lot of players with the type of skill level and the impact that he has on a map. He's really one of those players that no matter what the case is, no matter how the game looks or the situation of the game, he's gonna just keep grinding and grinding and grinding until he's a champion and continues to be a champion. So I think no matter what happens, if Renegade is in Halo, he's gonna continue to do great no matter what. There's definitely people, you know, who are still have done so much more than me, like even my three teammates, for example. I feel like I've done a decent amount of Halo, but they've still done so much more than me. And it's just like, I don't know, I wanna like, I wanna get to that point. I wanna get to the point where like, I'm the best.